welcome to my kitchen. I'm Akshata and you are watching Akshata's recipes. The theme of my channel is to keep it simple, quick, yet delicious. So like all my other recipes, today's recipe too is going to be very simple to make, few ingredients and the end result is going to be really delicious where you're going to want to make it again and again. So let's get started with today's recipe. So let's see today's lovely breakfast pohe, also called as kanda batata pohe. Now here I've taken about one cup of thick pohe, which is you a uh, thick uh, pohe which is used to make kanda pohe. Then I have one medium sized onion chopped fine. This is one small potato chopped fine. Two ripe green chilies chopped fine, some coriander leaves, some fresh curry leaves, and some lime. Besides that, we also are going to use half a teaspoon each of mustard seeds, haldi powder, hing or asafoetida, and cumin seeds or jeera. So here I've heated about one and a half tablespoon of oil. Once my oil is hot, I'm going to add my mustard seeds. Once the mustard seeds begin to pop, I'm then going to add my cumin seeds or jeera. Then I'm going to add my green, my curry leaves, fry them a bit. Then go in the green chilies. We're going to fry the green chilies well. Now I've added two light green chilies, but you can add one if you don't want it uh, very spicy. Then I'm going to add a little bit of asafoetida or hing, followed by turmeric powder or haldi. I'm using light green chilies, so they're not very spicy, but if you don't want... Uh, it to be even a little bit spicy then just add one ripe green chilli. Now I'm going to add my onions. I've taken one medium sized onion and chopped it fine and we're going to fry the onions till they're nice and translucent. Next, I'm going to just cover this for a while, for about half a minute or so, so that our onions get cooked a bit. Give it a small stir. Then I'm going to add my one medium sized potato, which I've washed well, and I've just cut it into fine pieces of cubes like this. Give it a stir so that everything gets mixed well. Now one tip I'd like to give you here is always keep a spoon holder at the side of your uh, gas stop so you can keep your spoon over there so that your platform doesn't get stained with the turmeric powder or any other ingredients that you're using. If you don't have a spoon holder, even a regular small quarter plate can also do the job. Okay, so now uh, I have just heated about half a tablespoon of oil because uh, we like to put peanuts in our pohe. Now many people don't like that. So you can skip this step if you don't like adding fried peanuts to your pohe. So I'm just going to be uh, frying a bit of peanuts because we like that. But like I said, if you don't like the fried peanuts, then just leave this step out completely. So I'm just going to fry some peanuts till they become nice, dark and golden brown, stirring them continuously so that they don't get burnt. Now I'm frying them separately because otherwise the peanuts flavor the oil and uh, uh, my daughter Ida doesn't like the flavor of that in the oil so that's why I fry them separately because uh, I like the peanuts on you know garnishing my pohe. So now we're going to check on our potatoes whether they are cooked. The potatoes you can just take a spoon and just try uh, breaking one of the potatoes into half and see whether it's cooked. It needs to be cooked. It shouldn't be raw. If it is raw then again cover your dish and continue cooking till the potatoes get a little bit cooked. Nobody wants to bite into pohe where you have raw potatoes. 
so i'm going to cover and cook for another 2 minutes or so now after 2 minutes again i'm going to check whether my potato is cooked only then can we proceed with the next step so yes my potato is finally cooked it break it's easily breaking up into half so now the next step is to add our washed pohe so all i've done is i've just taken the pohe in a colander just washed it about once or twice and then just kept it in this colander till all the water drains off this is a very important step so uh, those are my fried peanuts which i've taken out in a bowl now we're going to mix the pohe with the rest of the fodni or the bagar very very well there shouldn't be any white pohe left everything should be nice and yellow and coated with the bagar or the fodni now whenever you go to buy this kind of uh, pohe you should tell the grocery person that you want to make pohe because you get two types one is for chuda and one is for this kanda batata pohe or just regular breakfast pohe they called rice flakes too i always use the medium rice flakes for this type of pohe now i've just seasoned my pohe with some salt to taste and a pinch of sugar again we're going to mix everything really really well now you can add whatever you like to your pohe some people like to add peas or chopped up carrots i mean it's everyone's individual preference some people like it just plain and simple so mix everything well together and again i'm going to cover and cook it for about a minute or so on a very low flame now after a minute or so we're just going to give it a mix again This is such an ideal uh, breakfast item because it gets ready so fast. And that's it friends, our pohe is ready. All you need to do is garnish it with some lovely coriander. Mix the coriander well. You can add lots of coriander too. Don't forget to soak your coriander in some water with which with salt is added for about 5 to 10 minutes and then drain the water out and wash your coriander. And now all I'm going to do is my gas is turned off and I'm just going to squeeze in some lime. So another tip over here is always squeeze your lime juice onto the spoon so that if there are any lime pips or seeds you can just take them off. And then just add the lime juice as per you know your preference or if people some people don't like a lime juice already added in the pohe then you can give each person individual uh, pieces of lime so they can uh, add it to their pohe as they like. and now it's all ready to serve so here you can see i'm serving two bowls to one bowl i'm going to be adding my fried peanuts and to the other bowl i'm just going to garnish it with some fresh coconut that too is completely optional some people like a little bit of coconut too so you can add that and your pohe is all ready to enjoy I hope you enjoyed watching today's recipe. I hope you're going to give today's recipe a try. Share my recipes with family and friends. Go and visit my channel. I have more than 500 recipes as of today. So go try them out. Share them with family and friends and let me know also in the comment section below how you like the recipe. Also don't forget to give this recipe a big thumbs up by clicking the thumbs up icon that you see below this video. If you haven't joined Akshita's recipes yet, click the subscribe button that you see below this video and become a part of Akshita's recipes and once you have subscribed there's a little bell icon that will pop up. Just click it. That way whenever I put up a new video, a recipe, vlog or I'm just online uh, waiting to chat with you, you'll get a message for the same. So friends thank you so much for watching today's video and I will catch you in my next video sooner than you think this is Akshita saying bye take care stay healthy stay fit be loving and kind to one another so till I see you in my next video bye